riding with my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV. Hello everybody, we are taking Mini Tini, our travel trailer for a spin once again. It is our intention to spend the night at the Mikosuki Casino, which is just west of Miami. They have a section at the back of the parking lot where you can dry camp for the night. It does get really crowded at night, since it is Halloween after all and the casino is packed. Good morning from the Mikosuki Casino here in Miami, Florida, where we have uh, spent the night boondocking in the parking lot for free. And now we continue on our journey west. There are still a few RVers in the parking lot as we depart. I think the casino is a pretty good choice to overnight for free, although it could be a little noisy, so perhaps not ideal for everybody. We are taking US 41 West, Miami's 8th Street, the Tamiami Trail. It is the old road that passes by all the famous airboat tour places and the alligator shows. We stop by the Oasis Visitor Center at the Big Cypress National Preserve to get some information for a possible future trip, maybe early next year. At the Tamiami Canal, we can see some alligators here, and some fish as well, and then also some birds. Look at the alligators swimming in the background. Here we get a better view of uh, this reptile, which has become practically a symbol of the Everglades. And all these alligators, they look like they are pretty well fed. <laughs> It looks like a very nice place to see wildlife and they have a bunch of scenic trails and all that stuff, so we'll return soon, for sure. We stopped to put gas at the Mikosuki gas station, but the prices are outrageously expensive, so we're just gonna get enough to get us by and continue through the Indian Reservation. This is where the Mikosukis have their visitor center, their actual village and government. The Tamayami Trail, just like the Alligator Rally, goes straight through the Everglades. Every once in a while, I use Google Maps to look for nearby of the beaten path places that might be interesting. That is actually how I stumble upon Flamingo at the southern tip of mainland Florida, which we'll revisit soon. Uh, today, however, we are going to check out Chokoloski Island in southwest Florida. To get there, we're gonna turn left, south, uh, towards uh, Everglades City right here, which is also a place where I've never been before. It is a relatively small town, just under 500 inhabitants, famous for being the gateway to the 10,000 islands, an area which I hear has superb fishing. They also have airboat tours and canoeing along the mangrove tunnels. It sounds very interesting. We shall revisit some time for some of that. We continue on Snailwood Drive towards the island of Chokoloski. This whole area apparently is known for fishing and bird watching and, as I said, kayaking through the mangrove jungle. And we have arrived! I have made arrangements uh, for an early check-in at the outdoors resort of Chokoloski. The place is, above all, very clean, very well maintained. And although it is full of RVs, most of them large uh, fifth wheels, as you can see, people-wise it seems to be deserted, maybe because of the windy weather or still being kind of the off-season, even though we are already way into the fall. We find our site and back up into it with a little difficulty. Here I am on the roof, uh, removing the GoPro and check out the heated pool. Although it is windy and not quite warm, we are hitting that next. The weather is kind of chilly, but it's, it's nice. It's very blue skies everywhere. 
and right back there is the micro mini right there <laughs> Actually, Mini Tini, that's the name. Yeah, that temperature is not exactly accurate. It is more like in the mid to low 70s. It's still warm for November, especially if you're coming from up north. We have a late lunch at this place called uh, the Havana Cafe. I called it Cuban food with a twist uh, and the lobster with the special hot sauce. Mm, that was superb. We drive around the island, which is uh, mostly private residences, and pass by the Smallwood store. It was established in 1906, and nowadays it's a museum uh, telling the history of uh, the Southwest Florida pioneers, right here at Chokoloski, one of uh, Florida's last frontiers. It is part of the National Registry of Historic Places. Unfortunately, it closes at 5 p.m., so no chance to see the museum, but I can show you the outside. We enjoy this beautiful sunset right across the street from our RV resort and uh, collect uh, some seashells. Very nice uh, way to end our day. Actually, we end the day at this bar the Oyster House, right at the southern end of the Everglades city, just a couple of minutes from Chokoloski. And as you can see, I play my signature tumbao on the piano. Then I engage in some night photography. This light pollution can only come from Miami, since I'm shooting to the east, even though it is over 60 miles away. I love taking pictures of the night sky, and in this case, the illuminated RVs all over the place. In the morning, we drive around Everglades City on our way back. Yeah, this was a short trip. And that's it for now, as we leave uh, this uh, of the beaten path place in Southwest Florida. Because I'm free in my arms.